Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and today I want to talk about classics I should have read in school but didn't and what I remember about them. Background. I was a terrible pupil. Really awful. I feel sorry for any teacher who had to teach me. If you're watching any of my former teachers, I'm so sorry. I was the, the worst brat in school because I thought that refusing to do something out of principle is a good idea. Therefore, even though I spent my childhood and uh, teenage years reading a lot of books, I mean a lot of books, I, I wish I read as much now as I did then, I pretty much refused to read anything set in school out of principle and I thought I was being so clever because I'm not gonna let the man tell me what to read Am I right? So now I have a long list of books that I remember that we actually should have read in school. I've written down the titles. I have no idea if these are actually all of the books that we read in school. I'm sure I must be forgetting some. Uh, my uh, high school days are quite some years ago now. Uh, but today I thought it would be an idea to try and tell you about the books that I should have read in school and uh, that I obviously didn't read. Usually what would happen is that I had some good intentions, I would maybe read the first three chapters, maybe four chapters. You know, if, if I really liked the book I might get like a third into it before I gave up, but I always gave up in the end. The only books on this list that I have actually finished are books that I then decided to pick up again as an adult after finishing high school. Yeah, a, a lot of these in my head are just titles. I don't even remember what they're about, but we're going to try and get through them. I will put the titles of all of these books in the description box, but please, if you actually want any information about these books, this video is, is not the right one for you. I recommend you look these books up on Wikipedia or you find some booktubers who have actually read them. This is just going to be a little test to see how much I remember. Also, because I went to school in Germany, the majority of these books are German language classics. Let's start with one that you might know as well, Der Prozess or The Trial by Franz Kafka. Someone gets arrested and he didn't do anything. That's all I remember. I don't know what happens to him in the end. I don't know if we find out what he did. I remember the main character is just known as Carr, as the, the letter K, so he doesn't even have a name. And that's it. I remember it was quite a short book and I still didn't read it. This is actually one that I want to reread though. Um, I have uh, got it on audiobook now and, and I'm, I'm going to reread this because I have the feeling that um, adult me will actually quite enjoy this one since I'm a fan of 20th century dystopian fiction anyway. Next up, Theodor Fontane, Effie Briest. I remember that this one is about adultery and that apparently Anna Karenina is much better than this one. I also remember that this was kind of portrayed as like the big feminist classic of, uh, of the school reading choices because the main character is indeed a woman. Uh, even though we almost never read any works actually written by by women, this was kind of portrayed as um, th the one for the girls. The next one on the list is actually an English language short story and it's called Killing an Elephant by George Orwell. And oh, is it a short story or is it an essay? Now that I think about it, it might actually be a non-fiction essay of George Orwell talking about his own life. Anyway, someone kills an elephant. Next is the one book by a female author that I remember reading. And I'm pretty certain it's the only book by a female author that we actually read. And it is by Annette von troste hülshoff and the book is called Die Judenbuche. This one was really short. This one was a tiny little book. And I think someone got hanged. Friedrich Dürrenmatt, Der Besuch der alten Dame. I actually remember this one quite well because I reread it as an adult. This one's absolutely hilarious story of a rich old lady going back to her home village and wreaking absolute chaos with the power of her money 
and her personality. It's fantastically dark, it's hilarious, and it's super tragic. Highly recommend this one. Uh, the next one is uh, Friedrich Schiller, Die Räuber. Right, I don't remember much about this play by one of the German greats. I remember that we went to see it in theatres in school. And on the ticket and on the posters for the theatre performance, it says that, uh, you know, warning, uh, there will be fake weapons used in this performance that make loud noises, basically. Now, I really don't like loud noises. I've kind of, I've gotten over my fear of fireworks, mostly, but I really don't like, like loud bangs. So I genuinely spent most of the performance with my hands on my ears like this, ready to just close them up as soon as uh, a gun appears. And then of course, like they do in theatres, you know, they, the gun appears, let's, let's just assume this hand lotion is a gun. And they like, they play around with it for like half an hour and you think it's all fine, I'm just there with my hands on my ears. And then obviously they set it off in the moment when you least expect it. So um, yeah, even though I didn't read it, I did technically see the entire performance in the theater, but because I was so busy, trying not to get shocked by the sound of uh, uh, gunshots. I don't actually remember anything about the play itself. The next one on the list is also uh, Schiller, and that is uh, Maria Stuart, which is obviously one of his historical plays. And similar thing. I don't remember anything about the play, except how we were all confused about how to pronounce the word Leicester, which is pronounced Leicester, but written like this. We went to see this one in the theater in Berlin, I remember when we went to Berlin with school. And um, I, I remember nothing about the story, but I vividly, and I'm sure everyone who sat in that performance, vividly remembers the scene where two of the characters, I think one of them was this Lord Leicester and one of them, one of the queens, um, where they play this match of tennis on the stage, right? So they're just there playing tennis across the stage. And then they just gradually undress until they're stark naked, bits hanging out and everything, and playing tennis. I'm, I'm sure there's some symbolism to this. I'm sure it's supposed to show this sexual and political tension or something or other. But it was just a very strange thing to see as a 14 year old student expecting serious classic play. Uh, let's stick with the German greats. The next one is Goethe's Faust part one. And I read this one towards the end of my school career. I think it was in the year before graduation. And I recently reread it as well, I think two or three years ago. So I do remember this one quite well. And um, it is worth reading. I'm sure it's even more worth seeing on stage. I haven't had the pleasure of actually seeing Faust on stage and it is very good. Of course, this is the story of an old man uh, making a deal with the devil, which then turns him into a handsome young man and, uh, and all the shenanigans he gets up to until he gets his comeuppance. Next up is a German novella by Heinrich von Kleist and this one's called Michael Kohlhaas. And I remember that there is some robbery of horses involved. The other thing I remember from this one was um, writing an essay about this in school when I should have read it, but obviously I didn't read it. So I knew nothing about the book. We weren't allowed to actually have the book in the essay, in, in the test. And the question was, explain the role of the soothsayer in Michael Kohlhaas. And me having read maybe a grand total of 15 pages of this book, just sat there thinking, what soothsayer? Because I don't remember one. So, you know, just imagine I was, I think, 12 or 13 at the time, just like completely flushing, going, shit, I have just completely wrecked this test before even starting because I have no idea who this character is that they want me to write about. So I just made it up, I made it up. And of course I failed the test miserably. I think that's the worst grade I have ever had in a test. 
well, possibly the worst. I'm, I'm sure I did worse in physics and biology, but the worst grade I've ever had in a German test. And I still have no idea who the soothsayer is or what role she plays in this story. So I think this is one to reread at some point. Um, I also learned French at school. So, well, I was supposed to learn French at school. My French education was very bad because we always we seem to get a new t French teacher every year or every two year. It's kind of like Defense Against the Dark Arts in Harry Potter. And they were all various shades of incompetent. Until the last two years when we got a competent French teacher who expected us to already speak French because we were supposed to have learned French for the previous five years before that. So she made us read uh, L'Etranger by Albert Camus, or in English, The Stranger. Um, and it was way, way above my level of French comprehension. So I remember nothing about this book. I, obviously, I didn't finish it. I struggled to even read the first chapter. Uh, I remember someone gets shot on a beach, I think. That was pointless. Uh, needless to say, I still don't speak any French and I have never finished this book. And then the final classic, I've kind of added it to this, uh, even though it isn't a single work, but um, we never read any real Shakespeare plays in school, even though most Germans do get to one Shakespeare play uh, at the end of their school career. However, when I was 13, uh, my English teacher made us all memorize Shakespeare's Sonnet 18. So it, it didn't help with like understanding what this was about or analyzing it or anything like that but we had to learn it by heart. So I can still recite Shakespeare Sonnet 18, which is by far the most useless information I hold in my little brain. So um, there you go. This was, <laughs> this was classics I should have read in school, but didn't, and the little I remember about them. I'm slightly embarrassed that I was such a terrible student, but on the other hand, look at where I am now, still not having read most of these books. Thank you for watching. Bye.